Hi, my name is Sue Wigston. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Eagles Flight, and it's been my privilege to have many conversations with leaders about diversity, equity, and inclusion in their organizations. You know, there's really three reasons why we start the conversation. The first, unfortunately, is because they find themselves on a burning platform. Something has happened or they are seeing things in their organization that ultimately they need to do something about immediately. They need to change the conversation. The second is, you know what? We have no burning platform, but we're starting to see cracks. And if we don't do something now and focus on our culture around diversity and inclusion, we may all of a sudden find ourselves on social media with something that's gonna tarnish our company's reputation. And the third is really a good to great story. We've got a great culture, but this is an important conversation that we wanna make sure that we are being intentional about. You know, the measure of success in all three situations is the same. Ultimately, your organization wants to have a culture where everyone feels that they belong. Our full day program has been designed in two different sections. In the morning, we use experiential learning to create alignment, understanding, and awareness around what the definitions of diversity, equity, and inclusion actually are, and what does it mean in our organization. And we find that people come in along a spectrum of their understanding and the awareness, but that common language is so important. You know, many people come in and they think, well, we're just gonna talk about race, or we're going to talk about gender, or we're gonna talk about sexual orientation. Many people don't even stop to realize that diversity of thought is one of the greatest assets that an organization should have. So we use experiential learning to create that alignment and the common language. In the afternoon, we introduce a very simple three-part model. And this model is designed to allow every individual participant to reflect on their own journey and how their own behavior impacts a culture of inclusiveness within the organization. The first part of our model is called acknowledge. How do you start the conversation with those who have a different belief system or see things differently than you do? How do you remove the barriers? Do you understand what the expressed and unexpressed needs are of others that you work with? And ultimately, we bring people to a place where they realize you can take out the fear because when you acknowledge someone, it doesn't necessarily mean you agree with someone. The second part of our model is called manage bias. And biases are created from our experiences, our upbringing, our belief systems, but ultimately our biases influence our judgment and our judgment impacts the decisions that we make. And the scary thing is, is that often our biases are unconscious to us. We're not even aware of why we believe or why we act in a certain way. So we provide the tools and the space to have conversations for people to become aware of what some of their unconscious biases are and give them the tools to help them make those conscious so that they can be intentional in managing them. Because when you manage your biases, it impacts your judgment, which impacts the decisions that you make and how you ultimately treat people. The third part of our model is called Choose Your Impact. And ultimately, participants realize that everything that they say or choose not to say will have an impact. Everything that they do or choose not to do will have an impact. So as opposed to being worried about, oh, should I say this, should I not say that, we want to help them understand what is the impact that you are committed to have in your organization. Because that will allow you to change the way that you make decisions. One of the very first things that we do in the day is we create uh, ground rules in the classroom with the people in the room to talk about what a safe environment will look like. Because there are going to be a lot of conversations and that's the value of the day is giving people space to have the conversations. And our discovery process allows us to focus the day so that the conversations that your employees are having are the conversations that mean the most to them in their work environment. I often find that when people come into the classroom, they have that feeling of, I don't know why I'm here, I didn't do anything wrong. But I also find at the end of the day that people are walking out saying, I am very clear on what I can do to contribute to a culture in our organization where everyone feels that they belong, which is the true measure of success.